I'll show you the Montana film. This film was shot August the 15th, 1950. It was taken in Great Falls, Montana by Nick Mariana. Immediately after we were notified of the sighting, we sent an intelligence man to get a first-hand report. My name is Nick Mariana. For the past six years, I've been the general manager of a minor league baseball club called the Electrics. We play out of Great Falls, Montana, and are a farm club of the Brooklyn Dodgers. On August 15, 1950, at Legion Ballpark in Great Falls, Montana, after a couple of hours in the clubhouse office, I went up into the grandstand to call the groundskeeper. As I reached the top of the stairway, I glanced northward to the tall Anaconda Copper Company smokestack to check the direction of the wind from the white smoke. Force of habit, I suppose, because our outfielders use it as an indicator on defensive play. As I looked up, I saw two silvery objects moving swiftly out of the northwest. They appeared to be moving directly south. The objects were very bright and about 10,000 feet in the air. They appeared to be of a bright, shiny metal, like polished silver. Both were the same size and were traveling at the same rate of speed, which was much slower than the jets which shot by shortly after I filmed the discs. Suddenly, they stopped. It was then I remembered the camera in the glove compartment of my car. I raced downstairs, yelling for my secretary, Miss Virginia Ronnie. The distance from the top of the stairway to my car is about 60 feet, and I must have made that in about six jumps. I asked my secretary if she saw anything, and she said, yes, two silvery spheres. I unlocked the glove compartment of my car, took out the camera, turned the telephoto lens on the turret into position, set the camera at F-22, picked up the objects in the viewfinder, and pressed the trigger. The discs appeared to be spinning like a top and were about 50 feet across and about 50 yards apart. I could not see any exhaust, wings, or any kind of fuselage. There was no cabin, no odor, no sound, except I thought I heard a whooshing sound when I first saw them. As the film clicked through the camera, I could see the objects moving southeast behind the General Mills grain building and the black water tank directly south of the ballpark. I filmed the objects until they disappeared into the blue sky behind the water tank. Montana film projected exactly as it was photographed. The objects are moving against a 25 to 28 mile an hour wind. This is the film in double frame or slow motion. A slight bounce in the movement of the objects as well as the tower is perceptible. This is due to the handheld camera. The film, analyzed frame by frame, shows the movement of the objects to be horizontal and steady. We will now vary the action and size of the objects and also stop the action from time to time for your study. We have just made a jump cut in the film to an enlarged size and reversed the action. You are now seeing the objects exactly as they were photographed, but from a closer perspective. Analysis reveals that the objects are not balloons, nor any kind of known aircraft. The images are very different from those produced by any kind of birds at any distance. The shape, brightness, speed, rectilinear path, steady motion, and separation rule out various forms of optical atmospheric mirages or cloud reflections. Comprehensive analysis has eliminated meteors and other known natural phenomena. The possibility of airplane reflection has been carefully studied and ruled out. 